Here we are in Grizzly Dock Nanoman, which is the headquarters of Zachary Hudson. Now some people think power play is dangerous, but it isn't really. You just get a couple of extra interdictions normally from ships. It's quite easy to shoot, kill. Uh, I'm in a, a hauler, costs about two million credits, and um, we're going to use this to sign up to Zachary Hudson and carry some of his supplies to a nearby station and that'll get us up to level 2 in his ratings and we'll get a 20% minimum 20% bonus for our bounty hunting from now on this is quite straightforward so to sign up with Zachary Hudson you go to your uh, navigation uh, panel and then down at the bottom here is Galactic Powers. So you click on that and up comes this. So this is the general information about all the different powers. We want Zachary Hudson because I'm in his area. There's another one. Uh, is it Felicity Winters? So there's a, um, an Empire one that does bounties as well, the same as Zachary Hudson. So whatever area you're in just choose, choose the one but then you've got to go to their headquarters and you'll see where it is so when I click on Zachary Hudson tells you something about him there's his headquarters so um, whatever one you choose just look for, for their one but it, what you're going to do to get your level 2 rating might be a tiny bit different it, um, you'll see what they, they say to do when you get there I'll, I'll explain that a bit more in a minute. So first we have to pledge to him. So you click on, oh, I think you can do it on any of these, but here it is down here, pledge allegiance. So it tells you here all the things you get for, for your different ratings. So pledge allegiance, confirm. So now we're part of his, his team. And here's something interesting. 50 million a week you get if you can keep level five. Now I did that for a while. Um, you can do it in his one of his expansion zones. So if you go to expansion, he's expanding here. And when you go there, you've got to hunt around a bit, but you'll find some sort of combat zone. And um, you go there, and the moment you drop in, there'll be greens and reds. Obviously, the greens are on your side, the reds are the opposing side. And um, you want to get to the edge quite quickly, and then it's a question of how many ships you can kill. It's not e you can't really do that in a in a vulture. You need a python, a really tanked up one, and ideally an engineered one. But I, I've done it in a in a um, an unengineered python before, and you just have to stay there as long as you can, keep killing ships. So you've got to kill a thousand, and you can kill, you know, thirty an hour or something like that. So you're going to be thirty, forty hours in a week doing it. So you can see it's not that easy. Another thing you can do is get a... I think, I don't, I'm not too sure this one's enough. You've got to carry 10,000 tons of his supplies to... Was it 1,000? It doesn't, doesn't matter. It's going to cost you a um, 100 million or something like that. You, know, you need loads of money to do that. So it's not really a thing for this stage of the game, but... It's worth having a look at that later, you know, when you've got a bit of money and some decent ships, because I made 1.8 billion um, doing just ha res farming in, a, in four weeks. But I put a lot of hours in in those four weeks. And um, part of that was from the 50 million a week that you get um, just for reaching that le level five. So um, what we want to do, we, so we've signed up now. So um, and what it says here, is that rating two uh, will get 20% minimum bonus, increasing to 30, 40, and 50, depending where he is. Now, this is his position out of all the powers. He's number five at the moment, but that changes week by week. So today, I'll get 20%, but tomorrow, we we'll get it changes over on a Thursday. So tomorrow, he could be up to number two, and then we're getting 40%. Um, he's been at number one before, so you get that 50% extra half as much again just for being being with him so it's it's worth it just for the, that there's a small amount of nuisance you know you get 
S occasionally somebody drops into the um, the resource extraction site from the powers, starts shooting at you, but they're normally quite easy to deal with. But the only thing is, if you're already up against somebody else, you know, it can get a bit tricky when somebody else starts shooting you from behind. So um, you've got to keep your eye out for who's about all the time. But, you know, I've done it loads of times. It's, it's not particularly difficult, so I, I think it's worth doing. So um, we finished here now, so we can go back or exit. So now in the starport services, when we go to contacts, you'll see this symbols, that's the power play one, tells you you've got a power contact. There he is. I've got to click on it. That's it. Click. And um, these are the things you can do to get merit points. You need a hundred merit points to um, get your level two. So um, we can carry these military supplies, deliver these what we call garrison supplies from here to any of his control systems. So I'll explain that in a, in a minute. So the first thing is that we've got to get some, and we need to get hundred. Um, merit points we need a hundred tons you get 10 for nothing so you can do it without um, just click on these and confirm then go back so we got 10 sitting in a in a hold at the every half hour see down here they give you another 10 so if you're not doing anything you know you're doing um, the forum or or anything else watching the telly you can log on every 30 minutes and claim your next 10 free so in five hours you've got your 100 so it wouldn't wouldn't cost you anything but that takes a long time there's a lot of messing about so we can get the next 10 for a hundred thousand so that means the 90 90 tons that we need yet are going to cost us uh, 0.9 million by the time we finish nearly a million credits so you need a bit of money in the, in the bank we've got 1.9 so that, that's okay at the minute so click on the fast track and there's another 10 ready for you so just keep repeating this a bit boring oh, I'll tell you another thing in a minute just get this out the way for you. same you can't just order the number you want and then pay for them well you can only get 10 at a time like this but I suppose that's what it is you can't change the game we can do is play it so there we are we've got a hundred so uh, we finished here so, going to go to the back to the Galactic Powers panel. Now, you've got him on this side. Saves a bit of time. You can still get him in there. But because that's the one you've signed up with. He'll be there all the time. So, let's come back to the ratings. On rating 3, I forgot about that. For doing 750 tonnes a, a, a week, you get level 3. And then they have these special um, weapons. Some of them are quite good. Um, uh, I think it's... Eiling Duval gives uh, a special shield generator which is much stronger than a normal one so that, that's worth going for uh, but all you do with that one is just cover, carry this stuff for her once a week but you've got to carry 750 tons for four weeks and then um, you can buy that weapon or a shield generator or whatever the special thing is that you can get for, for their power. Right, so we, we've got these 100 tons. We've got to take them to one of his control systems. So if we go to control, uh, we've got all these ones. So probably the one you know where you were bounty hunting um, would have been uh, a good one. But uh, this is the nearest one. So we've got least chance of inter interdiction. Now the people running power play, they don't like that because Groombridge is actually losing him money and the more you keep it, um, the worse it is for them. But you can see already 
you know, loads of people have done it already. So, you, you know, adding another one doesn't make any difference. You, know, you need to stop everybody, and that, that's impossible. So, uh, we're going to go to Groombridge 1618 and deliver the stuff there. So, it's as simple as this Galaxy Map. It's one jump away. There it is. up the system map there. That's the nearest station, Gernsback. I think it's two jumps loaded and one jump unloaded, so off we go. This is gonna get us twenty percent more money. So it's a bit like the kill warrant scanner, you know, you pay once and then the money just comes rolling in. Landing gear retracted. Okay. When I bought this T6, I couldn't quite get it everything A-rated. The things you do need A-rated are the um, thrusters in case you get interdicted, the frame shift drive, frame shift drive charging. to um, travel quickly and then you just need enough power in a power plant, a power distributor to keep those going. Four, three, two, one, engage. It'll be interesting to see if we get interdicted. I've got few bounties on my head at the moment because I made some mistakes and people kept dying when they wasn't really my fault and so um, occasionally incoming message chasing after me so there's Grimbridge yeah it's a high target that's somebody trying Frame shift to coming drive up charging bounty. Whenever you get interdicted, there's always a reason, and it's in that um, comms panel. So if you look back, just bring up number two on your keyboard, or whatever your binding is. Four, three, I got away before you get a chance to get interdicted. One, engage. But if I stopped anywhere in Groombridge, uh, in um, Nanoman there, mysteriously that guy will drop out with me. So once you've seen that on the comms panel, you need to be careful about dropping out in that system for whatever reason. You know, if I got a message now, um, you could be sure he'd be there waiting for me when I drop out at Gern's back terminal. But there's feds there, so they'd look after me. But if he stopped off to have a look at a USS or something like that, he's going to drop out with you. And, um, you know, in a ship like this, I've got no weapons at all. Oops, I was talking with other shot again. So if you you go down below the four seconds, just turn away a little bit and then plant it back in the blue zone. In blue zone at time. Saves you that racing pass and then having to turn around and come back again. So a good time to do this is on a Wednesday because the the rollover for power play comes on a thurs Thursday night or first thing, uh, sorry, a Wednesday night or first thing Thursday morning. I'm pulling between the two so I end up at the entrance, facing the entrance. Waiting for that line to go straight, and I'm pulling up. Okay. So I've arrived here safely. Link on Papa, Echo, Tango. You may access this 
So you need four million in the bank to do this because it's two million for the ship, a million for the supplies, and if you've still got your vulture, you need a million for your insurance re rebuy, just in case. Otherwise, if you spend all your money, you go out with that insurance. Big trouble. Space. Approval granted. Land on designated pad number 35. Landing gear deployed. So it's starboard services, as normal. You're on the deck. Then here's contact. Enjoy your stay with us. Power contact. And here we are. Deliver the supplies. Just press and hold that. There we go. Confirm. That's it. So, um, when we go back to the Galactic Powers, we look at Zach Zachary Hudson. Rating, that's you. You'll see 100 merits. And my rating is rating one because nothing's happened yet. But tomorrow, those hundred merits will be used to get me uh, level two. So that will change to level two there. And the merits divide by two. So I'll have 50 for next week. So next week, I only have to deliver 50 to keep that rate level two. Not that it makes much difference. There's a slight difference in the cost. Right, one, one last thing. I just want to show you the loadout for this ship so um, go to outfitting to so get the type 6 um, capable of delivering the 100 tons in one trip I mean you, you, you can make it so that it delivers less but then you've got to make two trips with twice the danger and twice the time so um, I'll do the, the optional internal. So the two f class fives, we've got cargo racks. Two class fours, we've got cargo racks. Then a three shield generator. Ideally, you want a three A. Just stands up a little bit more when you get interdicted. But I did get interdicted in this one on the way over to Nanoman, Nanoman um, by somebody after my bounty. But uh, my shield's held up the right while I boosted away and got back into, uh, uh, got my frame shift drive going. So then one more class two cargo rack. So that's 32, 64, 80, 96, 100. So that leaves you one space for docking computer or you could put another cargo rack in for four. But 104 doesn't really do you any better you know because you need a hundred for the level two so that's it just want to have a look at the core internals um 3a power plant they used 4b thrusters they didn't have 4a's but 4a's would have been better 4b french drive 4a would have been better and the rest all d to save weight and get a bigger jump range and then finally the utility mounts chaff always useful when uh, somebody's shooting you from behind point defense in case of fire missiles and i had an extra shield booster just because i got b grade shields but you know you've got spare slots so you might as well use it for a shield booster just gets your shields to stay up a little bit longer so and weapons nothing you can't fight in this thing so that's complete waste of time what you want is speed they don't even want small pulse lasers all they're going to do is slow you down you're never going to get a chance to shoot anything. Some people put mines in there, but, you know, to drop mines on anybody that's chasing from behind, but I never bother. Um, but you can do that if you want. So that's it. So we're now level, uh, for tomorrow would be level two power play. And then what happens is your um, bounties all look the same. 
the, the kill warrant scanner gives you that you know a bit extra and when you look in your transactions panel you'll see them exactly the same as normal but mysteriously when you hand them in you don't get the same money as what what they're worth as it were you get 20 percent extra so when you compare your money you had before and the money after and the money that was in your transactions there'll be a 20 percent difference so um that's uh how to do power play oh well i'll do i'll do make another video of how to um get on in the uh, hazardous resource extraction site where you can make quite a lot of money if you do it right and we'll see what happens you know if somebody from the power play interferes with us at all or anything you know i'm getting more interference because of my bounties at the moment never mind power play um if you have a look I've got, i think i've got four one two three four one's gone dormant because i've got killed so all the rest got a while to go yet a week so and with the kill warrant scanner you get these accumulating as long as you don't get killed accumulating bounties in alliance and empire so when they get to a couple of million it's worth um jumping in a cobra or something with a reasonable jump range and just going to the nearest alliance uh station and cashing that in or you could go to a, a low, and the same with the Empire, or you could go to a low sec any low security system, and in there under contacts you find the intergalactic contact guy, whatever he's called, and he'll take those off you, but charge you, I think it's 15%, save you running all halfway across the galaxy to, to cash them in. So it might, might be worthwhile doing that. So um, that's it. Um, I might see you in the hazardous resource extraction site later.